it, but as you're frantically struggling to zip it up, your zipper gets stuck or breaks. Um, has that ever happened to anyone? Well, what if I told you we have, my peers and I have invented the first hooking magnetic zipper that can come together in seconds and keep you dry from the rain? So those are the photos. And so our neat statement was zippers get stuck and they get caught. So how can we not only just put something on a zipper, but actually invent a whole new zipper? Um, our initial idea was just a barrier, uh, uh, some kind of flexible material, like rubber, that prevented uh, like fabric around the zipper to get like eaten by the teeth on the zipper. But then we decided to get rid of that idea because there, there are like other ways um, that a zipper could break. For example, if a tooth falls, I have to replace the entire zipper. But, so this is our final prototype, and then, um, basically the there's going to be magnets lined up um, on like the crevice, and then it'll like snap on together, and then so it will be like more durable than a regular zipper and will last longer. So in total, the zipper costs the manufacturer around two dollars and sixty cents per unit. And we're planning to make around 30,000 uh, zippers. So if you multiply that, you get around $78,000 in what we need to spend. And when you break down the cost of everything, you, we spend 20 cents on the magnets for each of the zipper, which is uh, 1.5 feet. And we spend 40 cents on the neoprene, which we're, that's what we're planning to make the zipper out of. It's a stretchable, like stretchy fabric that wetsuits are made out of. And manufacturing labor costs two dollars. Uh, so how much would be? Uh, I'm sorry. Would the magnet tech be put? Uh, uh, like replacing. So would the zipper replacement be put on clothing or or not? So we would actually manufacture it and sell it to uh, companies, and they would put it on their product, and uh, so they can put it on any appliances or clothing that they want. And uh, over here. Oh. All right. So for the pricing of it, we would sell for about three dollars sixty cents, and that's a dollar profit off each unit. And if we sold all thirty thousand units, we would make thousand, like total net profit, um, and we would get thirty thousand for the net uh, profit. So we are proposing um, two hundred thousand dollars. Do you have any intellectual property, I'd be honest, patent or? Oh, so we are currently, um, we're, start, we're at the starting blocks of the patent, of a patent, so we haven't totally looked into it, but we are hopefully what someone would go to a patent. Do you envision this replacing all zippers, or are there some articles of clothing that this is better suited for? Well, we would like to start out in um, like jackets and and hopefully expand. Do you guys would consider things outside of clothing or yeah. sailboats or the so, construction market? There seems like there could be a lot of applications for this. So actually, like our idea uh, was inspired because I my zipper on my luggage bag like just completely right. broke off, and so that's where like our idea came from. And so we would hope to eventually get to luggage and other articles. How would you get to those customers? Like, so the customers are the manufacturers of other things. So you're going to integrate your product. So it's it's really a B two B play at this point. Yeah. So do you have ideas about how you would focus on that market? Are you going to start out? It sounds like maybe with clothing. Yeah. So I think we would approach uh, companies and clothing companies and. They would we would pitch our idea to them and uh, do some online marketing, such as like Instagram ads or something along those lines. Your your big differentiator is going to be the intellectual property. What you'll face is that if you come up with if you don't have the IP protected, then the companies that are in the business of making these things can easily copy the idea and just take it, right? So 
So assuming you have the IP in place and we're willing to help you with your patent applications to make sure that you build your IP portfolio, we'd be willing to make an offer for Two hundred thousand for forty percent of your company. Uh, well, I think that's a little high for us. Um, I do twenty-five percent for. Uh, would you mind if we discuss this a little bit? Okay. Um, can we do 25% for 150? Okay. Thank you.